Hello, my name is Bill Haley, and this is for Haley 2024, the movement's government reform ideas. This video is going to be on the ra rating system, dealing specifically with the law enforcement sector. So let's go through the full CRA structure, and we'll try to keep this video to five to seven minutes. And um, it, this is going down into the weeds of the CRA structure, the competitive governance structure. Uh, first thing you need to know is that we split all government power into 30 sectors. This is a violent crime mitigation system, has five sectors. Um, we split the government um, power from defining violent crime and the prosecutors into um, one sector. Law enforcement is this video and dealing with the rating system. Um, we get the law enforcement authorization. Anybody with inherent government power, they have to um, be authorized by representatives of 70% of the people. We get the court system in sector 14 and um, the prison and correction system within sector 15. So it's highly important to understand the full system and how we break it apart. All the other 25 sectors are explained other, other places on my website and in other videos. So let's try to concentrate on law enforcement. This is a full CRA structure. The law enforcement, the police officers are one sector. Courts and prosecutors and prisons, they're different sectors. So we really separate the um, powers and then we do checks and balances as well. The authorization agency has to authorize anybody with an inherent government power which means they have to give them a badge to be a police officer, which means they have to have proper training, oversight, and respect for civil liberties. Um, I'm not gonna, re you could go through and read all this if you want to. There's videos to explain this significantly. You can stop and read this about the rating system and how it works. You gather with 5% of your fellow citizens um, of your city, your state, and the federal government to get a rating agency. And that rating agency now has um, inherent government power to do significant oversight. So you rate, you give um, you give your perspective on how the police officers are doing, how the law enforcement is doing, and all the other rating agencies do the same. So you have high quality information from a wide variety of perspectives, all of them with decent funding, enough to um, give a good rating, a good oversight, a good analysis of what um, is going on out there so the citizens can know what's going on. The rating system has inherent government power uh, with executive, legislative, and judicial powers to deal with corruption, anything low integrity, self-dealing, or abuse. Um, you get the parent sector board that separates, I told you that um, we split it into 30 sectors and five within the violent crime mitigation system. The parent sector board um, on the CRA side and the rating system side, they come together and they um, define the difference between um, the different sectors where one stops and one begins, where law enforcement stops and the prosecutors begin, and then the court system um, comes in, and then how how then the separation between the prisons and the corrections, and then um, all the other laws, environmental laws or um, or violations, and banking laws or um, or education laws or whatever the case may be, they're separated out. The violent crime mitigation is just that. Let's go back right here for a minute, this law enforcement police. So the law enforcement, um, you have private law enforcement or under competitive governance at, at least. So each competitive governance has to um, take care of roughly the um, percentage of the law enforcement compared to their membership. So if you have 7% membership under your law enforcement authorization, you take care of basically roughly 7% of the um, law enforcement there. There's a lot to get into on there There's, because you're talking about competitive governance and free enterprise, things can go in many different ways. But um, but there's a rating floor where you have to meet certain thresholds. You have to have major cooperation. Now, all these things are be, are gonna be looked at by the rating agency. They're gonna, um, the rating agency is gonna um, do analysis and write-ups on what's going on. They can put rating floors the rating systems have to come together, the rating agencies have to come together to do a rating floor uh, when it starts creating negative externalities. So if you're not cooperating, your your uh, authority to operate as a law enforcement could come to an end or your um, or your governance could come to an end and the people have to go to a one that is authorized. So you have to meet certain thresholds for co cooperation for um, respecting civil liberties, for well-trained, for proper in, in internal affairs and, and the like. So um, it's important to understand that the separation happens and the rating agencies 
each one of these will have rating agencies. So I already went over that video where we talk about all of them together. The law enforcement specifically, um, police can have oversight from the law enforcement authorization, but they also have oversight from the rating agencies. How that's separated, I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna be separated, but it's important to understand that will be separated and they could be overlapped a little bit with um, giving information from the rating agencies to give over to the law enforcement authorization to do their job properly. So they'll be working together, but we have proper checks and balances. Anyway, there's a lot more to see. Um, if you wanna look through the um, full system about how the rating agencies are, you can stop and pause and look at that. The rating system, pause on the on that. The parent sector board, you can pause on this. And um, you can look at um, the 30 sectors. Here's 15 of those and then 15 more. And it explains um, how we separate government power. Every, it's late May right now of 2022. So uh, my website's pretty darn complete right now. I just keeps on adding more videos to it, more explanations of how this system's gonna work, a competitive governance system. So until the next video.